Hey guys, it's Arcade and I'm back with another tutorial. And in this one, I'm gonna answer the most asked question, I guess, is how do you make melodies? And to make this more interesting, I'm gonna show you three different ways you can actually make melodies without knowing music theory. So we're gonna do this in FL Studio, but you can also follow some of these steps in other DAWs as well. So let's get to it. Also, this video is brought to you by Skillshare. I'm sure you already heard of it, but I'm gonna talk a little bit about it later. Okay, so here we are in the piano roll. This is where we're gonna spend most of the time. First way to make melodies is by using this technique, I guess, where you fill out the piano roll with notes that are in a specific scale. And then you enable ghost notes and you will pretty much see which notes you can go with and which ones are out of the scale. So you might have seen this before. So the way you do this is you go to the stem tool, it's right here or right here and deselect only one. When you deselect it, that way you can uh, insert the scale multiple times in the piano roll without selecting the scale again and again. So as you can see, here you have melodic scales. These are the chords and these are the scales. So you don't necessarily need to know what a scale is, but it's basically a group of notes that go well together. Don't quote me on this because I don't know music theory myself, but that's essentially what it is. So, so let's start with a really basic one, which is a major scale. You also need to select which key you want your song to be in. So if you select C, it will fill out these notes. If you select C sharp, it will fill out these notes. So let's just go with C because it's really basic and let's click it in each octave. So yeah, this is really weird so far, but, but this is just the preparation. Click on, click on the C note in each octave. You can see C7, C6, C5, then just extend it as much as you want. And it seems like a complete mess. This is how it sounds. So you leave that alone. You clone your sound or put another sound in the channel rack and you disable the first sound, of course, because you don't want to have that playing. You just want the notes for reference. So you have the notes here, create another sound in the same channel rack, in the same pattern. It's important to have it in the same pattern. And then you open piano roll and you have an empty piano roll, click right here on this icon, go to helpers and enable ghost channels. Like that. And now you can see the notes from the other piano roll and all the ones that are grayed out are the ones that you can use. And if you use only those notes, you will be within the correct scale. So there is no way to like have some false notes in there that are out of harmony or whatever. So yeah, let's test it out. Also, you can create some chords right here. So first go to the stamp tool and disable it, choose none. And then to create a chord, basically click on the note of your choice, like F. And to create a simple chord, you skip one of the grayed out notes and fill out another note. And then again, you skip one of the grayed out notes and Put another note. So essentially when I say grayed out, I mean the highlighted ones. The darker ones are the ones that you don't want to use and the gray ones are the ones that you can use. And if you only stick to those, your melodies will actually sound good. And to create the chord again, just skip one of the gray notes, put the block in a, another of the gray notes and then again skip one of the gray notes and put another and put another block or a note in another one of the gray notes. I hope this is not too confusing, but that's your first chord right there. And another chord will be the same thing. Just put a note, skip one, skip one, there you have it. And then another one, and another one, and you have a chord progression. And as you can hear the last chord, it's a bit off. So what you can do is just try another one. So yeah, again, even though you are using this technique and you are only working with the notes that are within the scale, 
that doesn't mean everything will be perfect. You still got to listen to it and decide whether that's what you want or not. Now let's try to put in some melody. Now, an important thing when making melodies is that you don't just want to put notes randomly and follow, you know, the highlighted notes. Because that might not sound good. Let's hear how this one sounds. So it's like, whatever, you know? You can hear that the notes fit in, but it's not an interesting melody. You still gotta be creative, you still gotta do the work. One way I recommend doing it is putting in a note that you wanna start with, and then pressing space, and then just listening to it and seeing what note could be next. And in what rhythm should the note be? Because I don't wanna just have the notes one after another. How about this way? Or this way? And don't be afraid to like have some of the notes of beat. I mean, if you listen to a lot of music, you'll probably already have some ideas what you can do. As you can see, I made a mistake there, so you just move it around. And then maybe let's just copy this. So as you can see, I'm following the notes that are highlighted and I showed you how to do that. And you cannot go wrong with this. That doesn't mean your melodies will suddenly sound amazing. You still have to have ideas and you still have to kind of recognize what's good and what's not. But this will definitely help you stick within the right notes because you don't want to like have some weird ass note in there. Like that, you know. But that cannot happen if you just follow this rule. And as I said, switch up the rhythm and make sure you are honest with yourself. Does this sound good or should I switch it up again and see if it can be better? But yeah, here is the first way you can make melodies. And I think we even made a pretty cool melody. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's move on to the way number two. And that is, learn how to play piano. And I know what you're thinking, wouldn't that mean I would need to learn music theory? But not really. And this actually brings me to the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. Anyways, you've probably heard of Skillshare before. It's essentially a site where you can learn new skills by watching videos and watching like full courses that are specifically made to teach you a new skill. And if you sign up using my link, you'll actually get two months for free and you can cancel anytime. So if you want to, you can just get those two free months and then cancel and you'll pay nothing. And just imagine how much you can learn in two months. So if we just go to Skillshare, type in like piano, you see there's a lot of classes that you can take that will teach you how to play piano. For example, this one, learn piano in 30 days. So this is not like your usual YouTube tutorial. On YouTube, it's a bit different because a lot of the videos are made for entertainment, but on Skillshare, Everything that you watch is made to specifically teach you a skill. I myself used it before to learn some things about FL Studio and music production. So even if you type like FL Studio, a lot of classes come up and if you sign up, you can just watch any one of them. Check it out, link in the description. Now let's get back to the video. So as I mentioned, learn piano. So I mostly learned how to play a piano through watching YouTube videos on how to play certain songs. And from that, I just kind of figured out some of the patterns I see and started to kind of be able to play whatever I want. So yeah, let me just show you a little bit. Yeah, check out this professional setup. 
But yeah, if you know how to play the piano, it can help a lot. You can just kind of play around with some chord progressions and melodies, record them, and then see what you created and turn it into a song. So yeah, that's another way you can make melodies without knowing music theory. And anyone who wants to become a music producer, I will recommend to learn to play the piano at least a little bit. It will help you a lot. So how to make melodies? Way number three. This one is a bit hard to explain, but it's basically just based on hearing. That's what I do most of the time when making music. I can just make the melody in my head and kind of transfer it to piano roll. So this one is all about practice and again playing the piano helps a little bit but also listening to music helps and just trying this out and the best way to practice i think is to actually recreate already existing melodies so let's say like avicii wake me up And there you have the melody, and now figure out the chords. So yeah, I think that is correct. Maybe it's slightly different, but I would have to listen to the song to check it. But basically the way I do this is I listen to a song and start uh, trying out different notes, right? So the first one is this. I don't know that it's A. So I will maybe try C first. And I hear that that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's it. You know? So, so yeah, you can start just by going note after note. But if you have more experience, this will be pretty easy to do this. I mean, some songs are harder than others, but, but it's definitely a skill that you can learn. So yeah, if you just practice this, try to remake melodies that already exist and make sure to remake them properly, like maybe even ask someone else if they can hear any differences. And if you do this and practice this, you'll be able to just think of a melody and then pretty much like remake it from your head. So yeah, I know this is a bit hard to explain, but if I were to give you one tip on how to learn this, it will be by remaking already existing melodies. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you learned something new. And I guess a bonus tip for this video, if you really wanna make great melodies, is actually learn the music theory. And this brings me back to Skillshare. If you just type in music theory, you'll see a lot of classes that will actually teach you how to learn music theory and again if you use my link that is in the description you will get two months for free and so just imagine how much you can actually learn in those two months so yeah check out the link in the description to get your free trial but other than that thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one goodbye this is the end